Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Bond Westy channel. Today's episode is going to be talking about the 2020 updates to the auxiliary battery system. Uh, one of the first videos that I posted here on the channel was about the auxiliary system that was already in place when I bought the van. That consisted of three, I think they were like 25 amp hour, 26 amp hour wheelchair batteries. And uh, two of those batteries had failed, it wasn't holding a charge, plus I couldn't charge it off of the alternator. So I took that, gutted the whole system, and went with a single battery solution here. This has been a decent battery. Uh, it's a 35 amp hour. The challenge with this one is that it, um, it's been brought down too many times because the stereo has a memory in which it's always uh, drawing a current. When I've left the van sitting for about a week or two without running it or putting on trickle charger, uh, it's run this battery down way too many times and I think it's damaged it. Plus, now that I've got the truck fridge refrigerator installed, it really makes a difference. What I'm doing is that I'm upgrading the battery. I'm swapping over to the Renogy 100 amp hour battery. This obviously is not going to fit behind the driver's seat. I'm going to make some modifications, put this under the sink in the kitchen cabinetry, and uh, with that, I've got a couple of other components here that I'm going to uh, be putting in battery tray and hold downs. Also going to modify the fuse system with these Windy Nation ANL fuse holders and, and fuses. This comes with two fuses in it. Because of all the supply chain disruptions here in 2020, I went to seven different stores and none of them had these type of fuse holders or fuses. So I wound up having to order this online. Got a couple of new supply wires and, and ground wires here because this was actually cheaper to me going out and buying spools of wire and the connectors and the uh, the shrink wrap. I'm going to add this uh, switch so that I can turn off the stereo. Plus I've got a, a USB port there where the original cigarette lighter used to be. And uh, it has a voltmeter on it. So the voltmeter as well as the Stereo memory always keeps a charge on the battery. So this way I can turn this off if I'm gonna leave the van sitting for a while. And this also helps too, um, because the voltmeter on that uh, USB charger, it's pretty bright. It's a bright blue, you know, when I'm out camping and trying to do some stargazing and all that kind of stuff, it's a little bit too bright. Rewire project is underway. Uh, this is the Blue Seas fuse box that I was talking about, and this is the, let me see, let me get this turned around for you guys. And that's the Blue Seas ACR. So uh, there's a side there that's going to the uh, to the starter battery, and then this poster here will go to the auxiliary battery. Um, I've already got it to where the uh, the switch is in place. So that's... That's ready to go, and I've got the battery box uh, bolted to the floor. Okay, yeah, there's the battery box, uh, or the battery platform, screwed down to the kitchen cabinetry. So the next thing, I'm going to fit the battery with the protective plastic covers over the terminals, uh, just to get the right measurements for the cables, uh, going to the ACR, and also uh, a couple of other things here. Okay, well, the uh, ANL fuse block is in and I've got the, uh, the wiring ready to go so that's the wiring from the Lucy's ACR into the ANL fuse box or uh, just fuse and then this will be the connector that goes onto the battery and then this cable here will go from the battery to the um, to my circuit breaker <clears throat> which I've got let's see if I can show you right there tidied up the uh, wiring a little bit putting in some conduit pair wires that you see there that's going to go into the solar controller uh, the system is in place so all the wires have been put back into where they need to be the new stuff has been checked and double checked the reason why the blue seas acr is blinking fast on that led is because the starting battery over there has been disconnected just as an extra precaution solar charger has been hooked up to the battery battery is hooked up so you can see that it's uh it's giving us a little bit of data here uh, now the moment of truth so i'm going to turn the circuit breaker on no fuses have blown yet i don't see any signs of smoke don't smell anything burning that is a good sign that is the usb 
port and the voltage meter combination that I was talking about earlier is I'm going to flip on my new switch. So I'm getting power to it. It's on. And when we pan back up here, I have power to my USB port and it's showing me 12.8, 12.7 volts. Now it's time to go into the galley and start working on the switches uh, to make sure that the cabin lights all work. The USB ports back there are functional as well as the uh, the truck fridge TF49. Well, now it's time to test out the lights. So let's see. There we go. That one's been a little bit finicky anyway. All right, so there's that one. Then there's the overhead light. All right, that works. Good deal. Here is my, uh, my control panel for the majority of stuff here. So first one, is for the LED lighting. So that turns on. Everything looks good there. The second one is going to be for that USB controller. So every single one of these turns blue to indicate that it's on as well as... I don't think this one does. This is the 12-volt cigarette lighter. So let's see uh, if we've got... There we go. A little bit of air stirring in here. Third one is to turn the voltage. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, this one here is for the 12 volt port. Again, we're not going to get an LED around the port, but we do have the indicator that it's on. And then this indicator here is for the uh, truck fridge TF49 refrigerator. And the USB fan is louder than the refrigerator. So that's a good thing. Open up the refrigerator. The lights on. And you can hear a little quiet here. Last but not least, so here on the panel I've got the remote control for the radio. This is this is the radio that uh, previous owner put in here. It's not it's a inexpensive radio at best, but uh, it turns on.